Hi everybody, welcome back to Maddie's Kitchen. And today I'll be making y'all some good old fashioned grits. Something to keep you warm in the winter. And something when you have a, uh, maybe a couple of kids, three or four kids, when you're cooking your breakfast, you can get to cook some grits and it'll fill them up and you, you know, stretch your money, your dollars. The ingredients I'll be using, uh, I use Quaker grits, you know, Quaker, uh -huh. and it says five minutes, but don't believe that because if you cook it in five minutes, it'll be very gritty because you want your grease to be smooth, kind of similar to cream of wheat, but not really cream of wheat. So I'm gonna start with water. And starting off, you can put a little water in here, just not, not a lot, because one thing about grits, you have to be very careful. They pop, they'll pop all over you. So I'm gonna let the water get hot. Once the water get hot, I'll add some salt in it now. I'm gonna get ready to boil. I'll put my grits in it. A little salt. Okay. I'll use a little butter. Just to start off with butter. Okay. And I'm gonna let this boil take about five minutes. Once it starts boiling, I'll get back with you all. When you're starting the grits off, the first you should have equal water and equal grits. So I'm gonna start pouring it in slowly. So it won't uh, stir as you pour in. So I'm doing it. Stir it before you pour in. A little bit more. Make sure you separate the grits and be careful. You see, today I got on a long sleeve because <laughs> I don't want these grits to make popcorns out of my arm. Pour it in, see. Pour it in slowly. Make sure you continue to store it. Be careful, like I said, grits will pop all over you. Make sure you have, a, you know, you have your uh, your top ready to put on there once it starts. You see that it's not quite ready yet. I got a little bit more water than grits. So pour some more in here. Okay, I keep it stirred. Good. Have you ever cooked grits and you see how it knot up? You have like all the grits that's not have that not separated, and that come from because you're putting too putting pouring in too fast, and you're not having the same amount of water as grits. See this how how this is looking? If you can put it when you take a spoon and you can put it, you see grits in there. It's about ready. See, getting ready to pop. I'm gonna cut the okay. I'm gonna cut the stove down low. Cut it down some because see it's getting ready to pop. In fact, most time I cut it off until it settled down. I got to cut off because I want it to settle down so it won't pop. And grits is easy to cook. Some people say, I can't cook no grits because for one thing, you're not letting it cook long enough. It has to cook by 20, 30 minutes. Okay, stand back some. Okay, so that coming. See? That's not done. And some I have, when I first started cooking grits, I cooked it for five minutes and it wasn't what I wanted. So I still got the stove cut off and it's still popping. See? Now it's equal amount of water for the grits, equal amount. Like I said, the stove still cut off. Keep stirring it up. And once it's settled down, you can cut the stove back on. But like I say, be careful. I'll put a little butter, put some more butter in here. And add a little bit more water. Ready, ready for the water. But just a little bit. Because you're going to add water about three or four times for these grits. So they looking, looking pretty good. Now I put a little bit more salt in because I added a little water. Just a little bit. How pretty these grits look. And the reason you're stirring it, stirring it, because you don't want no clumps in it. 
and keep it stirred. Cut, I'm gonna cut it back on, cause see that I cut it on. It was still cooking, the grits are hot. You know my Al Green, don't you? <laughs> okay, so I'm stirring, they looking pretty. I, I put water in there, but I'm gonna put a little bit more, just a little bit. Cause you, want your, you don't want your grits to pour. You wanna be able to take them out the pot on your plate with a spoon. Those are the best grits. I'm gonna cook that, cook some more, and I'm gonna heat, cut the heat down low. Put the top back on it and let them cook for at least about 15 minutes. I'm gonna check it in another five or 10 minutes, but I'm gonna let them cook. Okay, they've been cooking about five minutes. Now I'm gonna put a little bit more butter. Now grits takes butter. I know, I know you all, y'all Weight Watchers and stuff, but don't eat grits every day if you only cook them like I do, because I make them taste good. I don't cook grits every day, but when I cook them, I'm, I'm having some good grits. And I'm gonna have some butter in my grits. So I come in, I still, they still not ready. See, they still look gritty. I put a little tap of water, just a little tap. Not much now. Okay, that's enough. Stir them up again. This is not gonna be no Denny grits, y'all. This is gonna be Maddie's grits. Because I, when I go out to restaurants and I eat grits, they don't never let them cook like I like them. I like them to be, you know, not a lot of water. So now they come, you have to stir them a lot. I'm stirring them really good, and I also cut the stove down low, cause you know, like I said, grits need to cook slow, and they need to, you know, be careful when they pop, cause they do pop. You really don't need much heat after they cook. You don't need much heat, you can put your stove on low. And when you see that, uh, you see that air coming out those grits, that means they're cooking, they're getting all the water out when they're cooking. So I'm gonna put the top back on them. For another five minutes, I'm gonna check them. Make sure you check them. You gotta keep checking. Them. And I'll be back in about five minutes and look at them and see how they're doing. Okay, y'all. I'm getting ready to taste my grits and see what I need in it. Like, like I said, I don't like putting butter on my plate. I like for my grits for me to be already buttered. And they're tasting. They're kind of hot, but I gotta let this cool a little bit. They're really hot. Mm. I need a little salt and just a little more butter and I'll be good enough. A little salt in here is a little bit. When you're cooking food, make sure you taste it. Don't try to season like the measurements. Now in bacon, you deep need active, you know, you have, your measurements has to be right. But when you're cooking, you cook to taste. You know how it tastes to you. Make sure it's not salty. Never have your food salty because that's the only thing that can mess up food is when it's too salty. So I'm gonna put a little bit more butter here. I'm gonna let them cook five more minutes and they'll be ready to go. Mm. Cook you some grits. See, they're good to go. Look how they look so pretty and white. Now I'm gonna let them cook for about five more minutes, maybe less than five minutes, and I'll be back to serve them. Okay, the grits are pretty good. The butter, I taste them. I don't need no butter if you want them. Once you, I serve them on your plate. If you want to put some more butter, and that's up to you. But it's good for me. So I'm gonna put them in this little bowl here. And these grits are really good. Shall they not pouring? Pick them up with a spoon. See, good grits. Like I said, when you're cooking your grits, now cook them more than what the box say. That's the time the box is wrong. How they look, y'all? Now, okay. I'll put a little piece of butter in just for decoration for y'all. Okay, the grits are ready, and the reason I didn't cook uh, 
bacon and eggs because I wanted you all to focus on my grits. I want you to notice my grits and see how they look. I know these grits are gonna be good because I season them good and see how that butter in them. Most time I don't add no butter, but I did this for special so you can see the butter in it. Okay, I'm gonna taste them and I know they're good. Mm, 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 mm. Girl, these some good country grits. My mama used to cook them. I don't know if I can beat my mama yet, but she used to cook them grits and we used to have them with bacon and sausage and eggs and toast. But these right here, I can eat. Like in the morning time when you want cream of wheat or uh, cereal, get you some grits because it'll keep you warm. And I hope you all enjoyed my presentation, cooking grits, showing you how to cook some good old fashioned grits. Make sure you subscribe. Please subscribe to Maddie's Kitchen and hit that notification bell and I'll show y'all how to make some good <laughs> eggs, sausage on my next video. Okay then, like I said, I'm going to continue to eat these and have a great day. Make sure when you get through looking at my channel, tune into my kids, the For Sure family. Thank you and have a great morning.